So that's probably one of my highly like suggested items to keep in your diaper bag. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or, wel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Taylor and I have a channel pretty much about mom life. I documented my entire pregnancy with baby number two and Calvin is now four months old and a lot has changed since I have uploaded my first diaper bag video which ironically I think was my first video I posted when I started my whole YouTube journey a year ago. When that video was posted Peyton, my oldest, she's 20 months now, was 8 months then. I'm still loving my freshly picked diaper bag but I am now stocking it in a completely different way now having two under two so I thought I'd share with you my favorite products and things that I have to have in my diaper bag when you are out and about. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my diaper bag, but I hope you stick around and hit the red subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you are updated every single time I upload a new video. And give this video a like if you like these types of videos. So without further ado, if you haven't seen the freshly picked diaper bag before, this is what it looks like, but I'm sure you have. It's a very popular diaper bag, and when I had Peyton, these were just like coming to the scene, so to speak. I have the gray color. They have so many different neutrals and fun colors, like navy and pink. Um, I think they just released a camel one, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll have this particular one linked down below. I know Bye Bye Baby sells them, so you can get them for 20% off there, Amazon. But this bag is very, very well loved. There are some nicks like on the front of the pouch. The sides are starting to wear a little bit, but I think for having it for nearly two years, it has held up pretty well, all things considered. I'm gonna jump into this front pouch here, and I keep that zipper pocket for things that I may need like in a split second, but mostly it's things for myself and for my husband. So, I do have a couple snacks in here. It is crucial not only having snacks for your little one, but for yourself as well, especially if you're gonna be out and about and you don't know how long you're gonna be out for or when like a craving is gonna hit you. Now, because I am breastfeeding, sometimes I do get like that breastfeeding hunger rage, so it's always important to have snacks. I just have a RX bar. These are my favorite snacks just because they are pretty simple in terms of ingredients and Calvin has eczema and cradle cap um, going on. So the poor baby has had some pretty severe skin conditions, I guess. And I think part of it is due to a milk protein allergy. So I've been staying away from milk protein and it has definitely helped. This is a pretty clean bar for me to eat out and about. And then I also have these Kirkland protein bars that my husband eats from time to time if he gets a little Angry. So I have two of these in there. Just some smaller things. So I have two little tubes of Aquaphor. Don't really use these right now, but you could definitely use it if like your baby has like chapped skin. We had these in here for when Calvin had his circumcision and we needed it for like diaper changes and things like that. Since my lips, at least this time of year, always seem really dry, I have two different chapsticks. My all-time favorite chapstick, and I've mentioned this in another video, is by Dr. Bronner's. And this one is my favorite scent. This is the, uh, what is this? The lemon lime. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You can find these on Amazon. I know you can get like variety packs there. Oh, it's so good. If you like an oily, like base chapstick and not so waxy, you will absolutely love this. Um, but you can also find these at Target too. And then the other chapstick I have is by Burt's Bees. It's the Ultra Conditioning Moisturizing Lip Balm. I do have a little hand repair cream. I think I got the two Burt's Bees like in a little gift set or something because this one is Burt's Bees too. If I didn't mention that, but it's like the perfect size just to throw in your diaper bag or purse. And then last two things in here are really random, but Peyton loves these sunglasses. If I can find a picture of her wearing these, I will insert it here, but they're by Jack and Wynn. They're super cute. She has a few sunglasses, but these are the ones that she always gravitates towards. And then I just have a random hair clip. She hasn't worn this in forever. I probably found it in my car and then just shoved it in here. So that's what I keep on for in the zipper, zipper pouch. I cannot talk today. There are two 
really big side compartment. One side I will keep my wallet and it's a pretty substantial wallet. So uh, this one I think is from Rebecca Minkoff. It's like you can put your phone in here, cash, cards, there's like a little coin area and there's plenty of room to stick it in the side. So if I just have to run into the store real quick, I can just take it out versus taking the entire diaper bag. In the summer and even in the winter, I will put Peyton's sippy cup on the side and there's always plenty of room. Um, I'm never like forcing it into the bag on the side pouch. I'm going to open up the bag itself, but before I do, I do wanna mention that there is a back compartment here that has a uh, magnetic closure and I don't use that on the regular but if we're flying back to Michigan we're in the Charlotte area but if we're flying back home to see family and friends I usually use that compartment to put like stickers and activity books and things like that that I can easily pull out but I don't use it on the regular okay moving into the bag itself so there is a interior zipper pouch and I really don't use it all the time but I do have a wet bag for Peyton this was a gift from a friend of mine and it's so cute it's from Etsy I'll link it down below if you're interested but it just has her name like screen printed on here and if she ever has like an accident out in public which now that she's 20 months she's never really had an accident in public like blowout so to speak but if we're traveling I love using these because I will put like all of her toys in here and snacks and things so if I ever need something Peyton related I can just take this out and then throw it back in the bag so I'm never searching for individual items. Right in front of it, there is a magnetic closure pouch and I just keep our changing pad in there. This is one, this isn't anything special. This is just one that our pediatrician actually gave us when we took Kelvin there for the first time. So that's in there. Speaking of wet bags, so I mentioned in my baby boy haul when I was pregnant with him that I got a wet bag for our diaper bag and we are definitely using it. I use it all the time. It's so freaking cute for a little boy or a girl. It's just cacti print. This is from Itsy Ritzy. I think it's the perfect size. There's a little like side wrist handle that you can unsnap if you need to tie it around like your stroller or car seat or anything. But I keep everything Kelvin related in here so that if all four of us are out at a restaurant or at a friend's house and I have to go change Kelvin, I can just take this entire thing out and I can leave the diaper bag with Jeff if he needs it for whatever reason. And it's just really convenient when you go into like a public restroom. Sometimes you don't have a lot of room. So just taking a small little bag is much handier than taking your entire diaper bag. But what I keep in here is just a travel size wipe container and then just a few diapers. I'm down to one diaper, so I need to restock this and one spare outfit. Since he's four months old, we do have occasional blowouts but I just have a little onesie, little pair of shorts, or shorts, pants, but you could put a sleeper in here. And I tend to put outfits in here that he probably wouldn't wear on a daily basis, just so that um, I don't have to go in there all the time to grab an outfit that is more practical on the day today, if that makes sense. So this is little Calvin's bag. And I put that right in the center and in the little like close up video that I'll put somewhere in here. There is plenty of room to put more, but Calvin does not take a bottle whatsoever. He hates taking a bottle, which is, I guess, fortunate and unfortunate for me. Um, so if he was taking a bottle, I would put it in here, but since he's um, primarily breastfed, I don't have a bottle. But I do have a burp cloth that I keep in the side pouch that I can obviously burp him with if he's spitting up. Um, really there's multiple uses for this. Obviously there's multiple uses for this so it's always important for me to have a burp cloth on hand. All right and then in the other side compartment I have a ton of Peyton snacks. The best thing for me is to grab things that are quick and that she can have basically anywhere. So I have two pouches from Go Go Squeeze. We get ours from Costco in like the huge 
boxes. She loves these. She's been having these since she's been like basically eating like normal food. So I just have a few of those. She just started eating like little gummy snacks. Yesterday was the first time that she had them. So I just have a few of those in there. It's always important to have multiple snacks in my opinion, especially for her because she will burn through snacks if we're out at like a park or something. So I like to have a decent amount on hand. And then last but not least is just the essentials for her. So I have an entire thing of wipes. I like to have a huge pack of it because you never know how many you're gonna have to go through. And I'd rather just have a huge like container of it versus a travel one. And then I like to have a decent amount of diapers for her and him, but I need to restock for Calvin, but I just have four diapers. And you could probably fit five diapers in the like stretch compartments. So they're definitely big enough. And that's one of my favorite things about this diaper bag is that it holds a lot. And I never feel like I'm stuffing things in here and everything is very compartmentalized so you can find things super easy. One other thing that I have on my diaper bag that I almost forgot to mention is I do have this like, I don't know what you would call this, diaper bag, disposable diaper bags, I guess. Um, it's by Ubi that makes the diaper pad, diaper pails. Oh my gosh, I could not talk today. Diaper pails. And um, Arm & Hammer makes these little individual basically doggy bags that you can put your diapers in when you're like at a friend's house or at a family member's house. And I can tell you now that Peyton is, has been eating like people food for quite some time, her diapers can be extremely foul. And Jeff and I do not want to be those parents or people disposing of our child's diaper in like people's bathrooms or kitchens or anything we've been to parties where people have done that and we find it completely disgusting so those arm and hammer bags completely mask the smell and if we're like changing her out in public like in the back of our car or something like that um and there's no garbage anywhere near us um i can keep it in my car without my car smelling which has been great in emergency situations so that's probably one of my highly like suggested items to keep in your diaper bag so with all that being said that's the end of my what's in my diaper bag video i hope you guys liked it it wasn't anything spectacular or over the top i wasn't really in reinventing the wheel but i hope this gave you some insight as far as what you could put in your diaper bag for two under two or if you're a first time mom hopefully you found some tips through this video but as i said at the beginning of this video i hope you stick around and subscribe i upload videos weekly and i would love to have you join this little community of mine if you have other suggestions as far as what to put in your diaper bag leave a comment down below i'd love to hear what you put in yours and i'm sure other moms would love to hear other ideas so i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys <music>